The players are positioning themselves on the start line for breakaway next. James Braxton and Charles Hansen go head-to-head -head in 45 minutes on their final Antiques Road Trip adventure. First on BBC2 and the BBC HD channel, we're on track for breakaway. Hello and welcome to Breakaway. There's up to £10,000 to be won for crossing this finish line. But will today's players stick together and win together or break away from the pack in a bid to win everything for themselves? Today's six players are... Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm a retired farmer's wife from Bakewell. Hi, I'm Art and I'm a politics student from London. Hello, I'm Rachel. I'm a website administrator from Dudley. Hi, I'm Paddy. I'm a financial advisor from Suffolk. Hello, I'm Sue. I'm an airline sales agent from West Sussex. Hi, I'm Alan, a sales and marketing executive from South Gloucestershire. Please take your place on the start line. 25 correct answers stand between you and the finish line. Every correct answer earns £100 for you all to share at the end. But any one of you can, if you want, break away from the pack. If you cross the finish line on this track, the entire prize fund could be yours. If you break away, each of these questions is worth £400, which is great, but you could face instant elimination, which is not so good. Today's categories are there on the screen, and the first questions will be on... Fruit and veg. <laughs> something I think we all know something about. <laughs> now, before we start the questions, you have an important decision to make. You'll be given the chance to break away now and after every three questions. The breakaway points are marked on the track. There they are. Those are the moments you can make big decisions and earn big money. You will have five seconds to decide and only the person that buzzes in first will break away. For the chance to go now and win £10,000, does anybody want to break away. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> we stay together as a team, the six of you, the solid six you are. You have 15 seconds to answer each question. One and only one of you must step forward and answer before the time mm. runs out. Are we all ready? Yes. Good. Yeah. Let's make this a good one. Okay. <laughs> question one. According to the song by Enid Blyton's nephew, Carey, what kind of fruit wear pyjamas while running down the stairs? Bananas. I think so. Go Art. Bananas. Art says bananas. He's very confident and, indeed, very tall. Is the answer <laughs> bananas? Yes. It is. Well done. Well, we'll step forward. We have £100. <laughs> That's the way it works. It's very simple, isn't it? <laughs> Question two. From the French word rawness, what name is given to traditional French appetisers of raw vegetables sliced and served with dips? Crudité. Go on, Anna. Carolyn? Crudité. That is the answer. Crudité. Yes. Wow. Madame. I wonder why people make such a fuss. It's such an easy game. <laughs> Listen to the question, give the right answer, we give you money. Question three. Which variety of pepper is used to make a hot sauce that's often used in a Bloody Mary cocktail? It's Tabasco sauce, Tabasco. It's not Tabasco. It's a pepper. Huh? Okay. Ten seconds left. Tabasco. I don't know. Is it a pepper? Is it now down to five seconds. We've got nothing else. Yeah, go for it. Four yeah, go seconds. On. Go on. Sue. Tabasco? Sue looks to me like a girl that knows her cocktails. <laughs> is the answer Tabasco? Oh, well, well done. done. Well done, a perfect well done. start. Three questions, £300, three correct answers. Works really well as a team, different people chipping in. That's the way to do it. We've reached today's second break point, and that means that you have a chance to win a life. Now, you've all been playing together, and that's very important, but lives go to individuals. These lives will protect you if you were to get a question wrong on this breakaway track. The lives are a buffer between ignorance and failure, if you like. 
two words I don't associate with any of you, I have to say. First person to buzz in and answer correctly will win the first life. There are four lives during the course of the game. One here, and then three more at the next three break points. The question's always the same. Who, where, or what is this? This pop star was born in Bromley, London, in 1991. She received a scholarship to attend the Italia Conti Academy of Theatre Arts and appeared as a sewer child in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in the West End. Paddy. Is it Adele, Nick? Is it Adele? OK. No, Paddy's out of this for the rest of this question. Her debut single, Mama Do, was released... Art. Eliza Doolittle. Is the answer... Eliza Doolittle. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Art is now out. Her debut single, Mama Do, was released... Rachel. Pixie Lot. If it is Pixie Lot, Rachel has the first life. Is the answer... Pixie Lot. Well done, Rachel. Rachel gets the first life. It's very early in the game, but it's an early score for Rachel. Makes her a little bit more powerful. That means she chooses the next category. Which would you like to choose? I think I'd like to go for World Cup football, please. OK. Rachel has chosen World Cup football. Can't be sure whether that's a strong suit for Rachel or a weak suit, but that's the one she has chosen. The next three questions will be on World Cup football. They may be asked to all of you. Or maybe somebody is thinking of breaking away. Early in the game, I know. But if you were to stick together now and go through the tape together, £2,500 to share between you. If you wished to break away now and made it all the way on your own, on this side of the track, £9,100 could be yours. Would anybody like to break away. Let's get on with World Cup football. <laughs> Question four. The 2006 World Cup was held in which European country? Germany. Germany. Definitely. Yeah. Can I go for yeah, this one? Yeah, go for yeah. it. <laughs> we are very polite to each other. <laughs> Alan? Germany. Alan says Germany is the answer. Germany. Well done. Oh, Step four. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about the conferring between Alan and Art, who are looking over everybody's heads like two giraffes in a housing estate. Well done, though. Another £100. £400. Question five. Which Brazilian player became the highest goal scorer in World Cup history during the 2006 finals? Ronaldo. No, it's 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 Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, do you want to go for it? Paddy. Uh, we think it's Ronaldo, Nick. We think it's Ronaldo, do we? Is the answer Ronaldo? His 15th goal in the finals, Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima is his full name. It's easy for you Ronaldo. to say. <laughs> Question six. In which year did England last reach the semi-finals of a FIFA World Cup tournament? 1990. 1990. 1990. Okay. Who wants to go and take it? Go on, Art, you go. Art steps forward. Art. 1990. Art says it's 1990. There was some discussion, some agreement. Some people are just looking nonplussed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the answer. 1990. Six yeah. questions, £600, six correct <laughs> answers. Well done. Perfect start. Working beautifully as a team. And we've reached the next break point and the next chance to win a life. Rachel already has a life. Rachel gets a second. She's starting to look really, really strong. Rachel, who wants to become a lawyer, is that right, eventually? Right. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Question's always the same. Who, where, or what is this? First one to buzz in and answer correctly. This landmark building was erected from 1473 to 81 by the architect Giovanni dei Dolci for Pope Sixtus IV. For great art. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Is it? The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Art's out for the rest of the question. For Pope Sixtus IV. For Great Seraph Allen. The Vatican. Is the answer the Vatican? Oh. Okay, oh. Allen is now out. For great ceremonial occasions, Rachel. Is it St Peter's Basilica? 
Is it St Peter's Basilica? No, it's not. We're going through the guidebook here, aren't we? <laughs> For great ceremonial occasions, such as papal elections, its lower side walls were covered with a series of gospel... Carolyn? Is it the Sistine Chapel? Is it? As we travel around Rome, <laughs> the Sistine Chapel. Now... Well done. Oh. Carolyn, well done. Thank you. You get your life. Fantastic for you. You've travelled a little bit yourself, yes, haven't you? Yes, been to you... Rome many times. Have you? Have yes. you? And you went to Canada, didn't you, on a rugby tour? I did, yes. yes I was yes. the only woman. You were the only woman. Yes, was I... that by accident? It was awful. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> what position did you play? Um, no comment. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to open it up <laughs> in that way, Carolyn. Thank you very much. Carolyn's won the life. Carolyn gets to choose the next category. Animation, words and language, musical instruments or transport? Transport. Transport, says Carolyn. Next three questions will be on transport. Could be good for Alan. Alan, I think, started training as a pilot and you'd like to fly your family to the Channel Islands. Yeah, I will bring them back. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> interested. I would like you to finish training as a pilot before you take your family to the Channel Islands. Just something to think about there. You can go with an instructor. It's well, fine. I'm sure you can. Three questions on transport. Will it be for the team or will it be for an individual? It's a breakaway point. If you were to stick together, you had a perfect start, £2,500. You've done perfectly well as a team. No need to change. If you feel like changing and you were to change and you were to break away and go through on your own, £8,200. Still a lot of money. Let me ask you the question, does anybody want to break away? I'm glad at least that our pilot doesn't take risks. That's one <laughs> thing that makes me feel good. Three questions on transport, £100 each. Question seven. First launched in 1948 and affectionately known as the Moggy, which was the first million-selling British car Yes. Sue. It's the Morris Minor. Is it the <laughs> Morris Minor? Well oh, done, well. Sue. In production from 1948 to 1971, the Morris Minor. Question eight. Which London underground station shares its name with the 1978 hit single by Jerry Rafferty? Baker Street. Baker Street, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. Rachel? Baker Street. Is the answer Baker Street? Well done. Well done. £800. Just flying <laughs> through here. <laughs> Baker Street, I think, reached number three. No high. Good song, though. Question nine. What does the German acronym BMW stand for in English? There you go. Is there's, 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 there's nothing else we've got. Yes. Do you yeah. think you're set to... Yeah. Six right. seconds. Yeah. Go for it. Five seconds. Else. Carolyn. Bavarian Motorworks. You've gone with Carolyn's decision. Now, remember, if Carolyn's got this wrong, oh. that £800 <laughs> could go down oh. to zero. All right? But she's the one who stepped forward. Is the answer Bavarian Motorworks? Well done. Yes. Yeah. Well done. £900. Oh. Uh, it's a translation of Bayerische Motorenwerke. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, Carolyn, especially. £900, nine correct answers. This is a perfect game. You've reached the next breakaway point and the next chance to catch yourself a life, to win that life that could protect you. Carolyn has one, Rachel has one. They get two, they're looking really strong. There's only one more life after this. Who, where, or what is this? This US city was first settled by Spanish colonists in the 1770s. Ceded to the US in 1846 during the Mexican War, the discovery of gold in 1849, art. New Mexico. Oh, yeah. Oh. One answer and one answer only is the answer, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bad luck. Yeah. You've been very brave each time. You've gone yeah. strongly. Alan. California. Alan says California is the answer. California. Two big boys premature. Ooh! Paddy. Is it San Diego, Nick? Paddy says, is it San Diego? 
The discovery of gold in 1849 led to its rapid growth. In 1859, silver. Carolyn. I'm going to guess San Francisco. Is it San Francisco? Oh. Wow. Well done. well done. Carolyn. Carolyn gets a second life. She's looking very strong. Carolyn gets to choose the next subject category. Animation, words and language, musical instruments. Um, animation. Animation, please. says Carolyn. So, animation is the subject the next three questions are going to be on. Are we going to be a team or is somebody getting ready to break away? So, as you were, perfect start. 2,500 to share between you if you stay together. Break away now, go on your own. 7,300. Still a lot of money, but each time you delay, the money goes down quite a bit. £900 each three questions. There's one more life to be won. Simple question. Does anybody want to break away? Mm. Carolyn looked like she might be ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn. The wrong subjects are up there. You've done very well considering when you applied, you actually put down your name, I seem to remember, as Alfred Lord Tennyson. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, the first, it was the answer to the first question, and I misread the thing, so... Mm. <laughs> well, beware of that. <laughs> yes. Don't get ahead of yourself yeah. afterwards. Yes. yes. Right, we are back in the game as a team, which is lovely. Anyway, you're all still here. That's important. The money is reducing, but it's still available. There's a lot of money to be won in this game. A lot of money. Mm. Question 10. Which 1994 Disney film starring Rowan Atkinson and Jeremy Irons won an Oscar for Hans Zimmer's original score? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Rachel. The Lion King. Is it The Lion King? Yes, it is. Well done. Also won Best Original Song for Can You Feel the Love Tonight? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really well. Hello. Everybody's chipping in. You're making a lovely tea. Paddy, I'm chuffed you've stayed awake because I know <laughs> that you do have a problem, do you not? At night times, you have been stopped several times by the authorities for sleep jogging. The right authorities, Nick. Yes. I think, I think, I think we can <laughs> sleep, jogging, sleep jogging is a defence I've tried, but it didn't work for me, I have to say, <laughs> if you're running down the street in the middle of the night with no clothes on, but clearly it worked for you. Question 11. Which Ab Fab actress provided the voice of the evil fairy godmother in Shrek 2? Jennifer, Jennifer Saunders. Jennifer Saunders, yes. Yeah, Jennifer Saunders. Carolyn steps forward. Carolyn? Jennifer Saunders. Is it Jennifer Saunders? Oh, oh, we've got hey, Everett hey, and Jonathan Ross also yeah. in the cast. <laughs> £1,100. Ticking along beautifully as a team. Question 12. Which American entertainer, born in 1908, voiced cartoon characters including Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and Porky Pig? Mel Blanc, isn't it? Yes. Alan? OK. Alan. Mel Blanc. Is it Mel Blanc? Well done. Well, through that one, we've reached the next break point. We have £1,200, 12 correct answers, no errors, playing really, really well. We've reached the final life. This is when the, everything shakes down. We know where we stand. Carolyn's hoping to have three stars. And she'll look like she's the top McDonald's employee. <laughs> <laughs> Who, where or what is this? This historical figure was the third Roman emperor, ruling from 37 to 41 AD. His real name was Gaius Julius Caesar Germanicus, but he is known by his nickname... Art. Julius Caesar. Is the answer Julius Caesar. Oh. His nickname means little boot. Sue. I Claudius. I Claudius is the answer I Claudius. His nickname, which means little boots or boot. I think that might be Caligula. Is the answer for Caroline to look very strong. Caligula. It is. Well done, Carolyn. Well done. Caligula is correct. Carolyn has three lives. Carolyn can barely disguise her joy. Oh, she's excited. Carolyn, not only do you have three lives, you get to choose the next category. You're very much in control of this game at the moment. 
Words and language or musical instruments? Uh, musical instruments. Musical instruments she chooses. <laughs> Carolyn, were you a teacher? Yes. What did you teach? Well, children mostly, but yes. uh, <laughs> history mainly. History. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering whether it might have been music. That was all. <laughs> no, Maybe no, you're plotting no, to no, make no. that break at the moment. The next three questions will be on musical instruments. But I'm wondering if they'll just be for Carolyn because it's time to decide whether to break away. Don't get left behind. Somebody might go and you may never get involved in the game again. There are no more lives to be won. The basic fact is, stay together, 2,500. You're working beautifully as a team. Break away now and go through on your own, 6,400 pounds. Does anybody want to break away? Like rabbits in the headlights, you're staying where you are. Maybe we want to just get through musical instruments as a team. Well, that's what you're going to have to do. Question 13. What instrument does Sherlock Holmes play in the stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? Violin. Violin. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Art. Violin. Violin is the answer. Violin. Lovely, well done. Nice That's one. nice, isn't it? There's £100. <laughs> Could have been 400 if you'd been over here. <laughs> <laughs> Question 14. In which section of an orchestra would you find a bassoon? Woodwind. Woodwind, Woodwind. Woodwind. Yes. Woodwind. yep. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Sue. Woodwind. Sue says woodwind. Is the answer woodwind? Yeah. That's well, a traditional see. answer, unless, of course, yes. someone had hidden it somewhere else, but, yes, <laughs> woodwind. £1,400. One more question to the next break point. Quite easy questions, these. Right. Maybe you'd have thought, oh, I could have broken yeah. away there. Mm. Never mind. Question 15. Despite its name, the dueling banjo scene in the 1972 classic film Deliverance actually features a banjo and which other instrument? Is it a ukulele, maybe? I don't, I don't know. know. It looks like a banjo. What else yeah. looks like a yeah, banjo? Ten seconds. No Should we just have a... Yeah. Does anyone, Ten seconds. Anyone, six seconds. Five seconds. seconds. Yeah. Four seconds. On, Three seconds. Alan. I'm going to go for a ukulele. Alan's going to go for a ukulele. Have you seen yes. Deliverance? I've yeah. seen that scene. <laughs> Is the answer... ukulele? Would you have to take a step back, Alan? I just... It, Deliverance just doesn't feel like the sort of film <laughs> that could have featured George Formby. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. That would have been my worry. The answer is guitar. Oh, oh, it's yes. a guitar. A obvious, Did anybody yeah. say it? Afterwards. Afterwards. It? Afterwards. 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 All right. The situation is this. You have £1,400. That £1,400 is going to go down to zero unless either Rachel or Carolyn is willing to give up a life to save it for the team. Their decision, only they can make it. They will have five seconds. If one of them buzzes in, the money is saved. If neither of them buzz in, the money goes down to zero. The time starts now. <laughs> Rachel did it. Rachel wow. gave up her life. Rachel. Carolyn was so quick wow. to say sorry. Oh, Nobody noticed well that Rachel well done, had sacrificed well done, her life for the well team. £1,400 is saved. It would have gone down to zero. Rachel does not have wow. a life. Wow, I think yeah. you all owe Rachel. I thought Carolyn would go first. Yes. Oh. I thought Carolyn might have gone first too, but I'm Carolyn, she has first. her own agenda. <laughs> it is a team game, but ultimately you have to play for yourselves. Mm. We're still on the final question on musical instruments, as long as we get it right, and we must get it right. Question 15. How many musicians make up a quintet? Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. I'll okay. redeem myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure it will happen. <laughs> Alan. I'm not going to say ukulele. Five. Is the answer five? Well it's a kind of redemption, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> Alan's a contortionist, by the way. He didn't quite get out of that tight spot, I have to say to you. We've reached the next break point. There are no more lives to be earned. We know that. And we're on to the final category. The final category is words and language. Right, the next three questions will be on words and language. But it's another break point, another decision to be made. If you're going to go, you've got to go sometime. Nothing's going to change. None of you have got a life apart from Carolyn. And it's perfectly possible to come across here and breeze your way through. There's a chance of taking somebody with you. You're doing well as a team, but there comes a time when you've got to be tempted to go for the big money. Maybe it's now. All right. If you stay together, £2,500. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> if you were to break away on your own now. Five thousand five hundred pounds. Righty ho. First to buzz in. We'll get the chance to break away. If indeed any of you do. Does anybody want to break away? Alan the ukulele wants <laughs> to break away. Alan, come and join me on the breakaway track. Alan has broken away on question 15. There are 10 questions remaining. If you were to go all the way now, Alan, £5,500 would be yours. You could finish training as a pilot. Mm. OK? You could buy deliverance. <laughs> yes, and, and learn it. which musical instruments <laughs> are played in it. The question is, can you get there on your own? You know errors can be made. You've made one. We all make errors. Sometimes it helps to have a bit of support. You can ask somebody to come and join you. You share their knowledge, they share the money. It's your decision. So, Alan, do you think you would like to ask somebody to come and join you? I think I would be greedy if I went on my own. I'd be happy to, to share. I see. You're making out that this is some sort of kind <laughs> gesture. <Altruistic>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've seen, I feel like I've deserted five people, so let's make it four. Well, when you say you feel like you've deserted five people, <laughs> yes, you have deserted five people. Rachel, who do you think he's going to ask? I think he'll take Carolyn. Do you? You don't think he'll take you after you gave your life up? No. Paddy, who do you think he'll ask? I think he wants to take Carolyn, but I don't know if she'll say yes at this stage. Does anybody she? think he isn't going to ask Carolyn? Just to be awkward. Yeah. Carolyn, <laughs> you don't have to say yes, but yes. let's find out, first of all, if he is going to I ask know, you. I know. Alan, who would you like to ask to come and join you? I would like to ask Carolyn, please. Carolyn, would you like to come and join Alan? I would love to. Next to him. Thank you very much. OK. Let's just hope we do it. Bold play, Alan, in many ways. I mean, clearly, she's a great player. She's looking very, very strong. Bear in mind, if you get a question wrong while you're over here, they can pick you off. A life has to go, and you haven't got one, so it could be you sent home. Equally, she could carry you all the way through, and you could share the money. All right? We ready? Mm -hmm. Good. Question 16. Which Bond film was known in France as Vivre et Laissez Mourir? Live and let die. die. Yes, well done, you. Yeah. Alan steps forward. Alan. Live and let die. OK, is the answer live and let die? It is. Well done. Do you speak French, well Alan? Oui, un petit peu. Well, you spoke that much, <laughs> £400 is added on. £1,900. One successfully negotiated question. Question 17. To which of the five senses does the word olfactory refer? Smell, yeah? Smell, yeah. Can I step forward? OK. Carolyn? Smell. Alan says smell. Alan did that, and I thought yeah. he wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> that, that was my worry. I thought, yeah. this, is, this is no time to be coy. I thought he was giving me a hint. I don't know. Is the answer smell? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Another £400. Another question negotiated. £2,300. It's nice over here, isn't it? Just now. For now, yeah. For now. <laughs> question 18. Which 1987 film inspired the introduction of the term bunny boiler into the English language? It was, uh, fatal attraction, fatal attraction, fatal attraction yeah. yes. Do you want to go? Fatal Alan. Fatal attraction. Is the answer. Fatal attraction. Well done. Three out of three. 
hundred pounds. Are you thinking back there? Those are easy questions. We could have got those. <laughs> Yep. Well, that's what happens if you're brave enough to break away, because the questions are the same over here as they are over there. You're doing beautifully. We're at a break point. It doesn't matter. The two of you are here. Nothing needs to change. Now, we have reached the final run-in. There are no more categories. Just seven questions remain. From this point on, they're going to be potluck. And as we're nearer the end, it's a little bit more tense. You're going to get 30 seconds to answer each question. We ready for this? Yes. As we'll ever be. <laughs> Do we think they're going to make it? A bit nervous at the moment. Yeah. You're a bit worried. <laughs> You're a bit worried. Yeah. I'll wager you'll have some more input in this game, unless they do brilliantly well. I hope that you do. I'm just saying from experience, there's often a stumble. Let's hope there isn't. Come on, let's be positive. I'd love to see you canter through. Much as I'd like you to get back in the game, it would be good to see them do it. Caroline's been such a strong player. Alan had the guts to break away. Good for you. Let's go for it. Question 19. Which political scandal, named after the politician at its centre, rocked Parliament in 1963 and forms a backdrop to Andrew Lloyd Webber's forthcoming musical? Humor, yeah, it's the it? perfume of affair, isn't it? You, I can't think of anything else in 63. No, no. Shall, Cello, I, shall yep. I go for it? Carolyn. The Profumo Affair. Is it the Profumo Affair? Yes, it is. Well done. Another £400. We crack past 3000 Six questions to go. Question 20. Described as a wretched place, which literary character has his den in a house near Field Lane, in a part of London now known as Clerkenwell? Oh, my goodness. OK. Clerkenwell. A wretched place. Which literary character? Is it Dickens? Well, I don't know. It could be. Wretched character. Would it be, um... Oh, dear. Can we hear be... the question again? Is... Described no. as a wretched place, which literary character has his den in a house near Field Lane oh, in a part of London? Fagan. Five Fagan. seconds Fagan. to go. Alan. Fagin. OK. Is the answer... Fagin? Well done. <gasps> well done. Well done. Oh, well you plucked I that one out. I don't know where that came from. That little bit of extra time yeah. just got you there. Excellent answer. It's You're when playing you it said beautifully. Again, you yes, know. I know. Yeah. So, three thousand five hundred pounds. Really good. This is really good. Next question. Question twenty-one. What is the smallest U.S. state in land area? Okay. Oh, it's either Rhode um, Island or. It's Hawaii. Rhode Island. Is it Rhode Island? It, yeah, or is Rhode Island's smaller. It is there's, in Hawaii. There's um, 23 seconds. Delaware, but Rhode Island oh, is the smallest. Oh, I know Rhode Island is this, but it's Rhode high, Island is Hawaii's small. not smaller, is it? No, no it's got to be. Rhode Rhode Island. Island. Go on, I'll let you seconds. go. Alan? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Alan, very insistent it's Rhode Island. Carolyn thought it might have been Hawaii. Is the answer Rhode Island? £3,900. We've reached another break point. That doesn't matter. You team together. You keep on going. One, two, three, four questions. Break that line. £5,500 to share between you. Alan knows he's vulnerable. Just keep answering the questions correctly. You're doing beautifully. Are they going to do it? Looking better. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to offer encouragement. That's the trouble. They want to stay in the game. Question 22. Which 1963 Beatles song spent six weeks at number one and is their biggest selling single of all time in the UK? It's okay. Um, it's, it's not please please 63. It's not please please me. Is it? Um, love? No, no no no. That's much later. There's I want to hold your hand. Oh gosh, I can't 15 think seconds. Of it. I want to hold your hand. Um, Ten seconds. You're going to have to make decisions sometimes. Seven sure. seconds. No, sixty-three is sixty-nine. Five it's five no, it's seconds. not. I want to hold your hand. Four. It's not. I want to hold your hand. Oh. It's not. Can't you? Can you answer? You can't discuss. I want to hold your hand. Caroline says, I want to hold your hand. Alan's sure it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alan's sure it isn't. I want to hold your hand. Caroline says, I want to hold your hand. Alan's sure it isn't. I want to hold your hand. Caroline says, I want to hold your hand. Alan's sure it isn't. I want to hold your hand. Alan didn't really come up with much else, though. If it is, I want to hold your hand. That's another four hundred pounds. Another step closer. If it isn't, Alan could be vulnerable. Is the answer? 
I want to hold your hand. Um, uh, Step back, Carolyn. Yes. The answer was she loves you. Oh, of course. 1.9 million course. copies sold. So hand. let me come back to those behind. You're not out yet, Alan. It's up to them. Your decision, people. You can take a life or you can take a player. It's an easy one. Yeah, it's an easy decision. Sadly. Do you want to explain our thinking, Art? <laughs> explain to me what you want to do and why, Art. Our thinking is that Alan, although with well, to be honest, Alan, Alan has led for some like the Rhode Island one. They wouldn't have got without it. Fagin, I think, without Alan. So I'm afraid the, the slim chance that we have to get back into the game is going to have to be with Carolyn's one head. Okay. So with You've waffled quite a bit. <laughs> Just say who you want to knock out. Uh, with regret, Alan. Good Alan. effort. Right, Alan, they've dressed it up. <laughs> you dressed it up right. to say that you're the stronger player. You, you were very bold. You made a play with no lives. You broke away. It nearly came off for you. I think you deserve a lot of credit for that. Sadly, no cash, but a lot of credit. Well done for you. The end Thank over you. there, Alan. Well played. Thanks, guys. So, Carolyn, you are on your own. You're still in a very strong position. You've got three lives. You've not been on your own over here no. before. You always have a little bit of help. But you can afford mistakes. The thing is, you've got three questions to go until you reach a break point and have a chance to ask oh, anybody right. to come and join you. Yes. So whatever happens, you're going to be on your own. Um, for three. Those three questions, if you get there. If I get there, yes. You've got the lives. Yes. You're a very strong player. There's no reason you can't go all the way. Yes. They're watching you. Yes. But they'll have to watch if you keep answering the questions correctly. Yes. All right, Carolyn. Right. Question 22. The 2009 film, The Last Station, starring Helen Mirren and Christopher Plummer, is about the last days of which author? 30 um, seconds, step forward when you know, if you know. Oh, it's one of two. Oh, my God, it's one of two. Um, 20 seconds. Karen? Right, here goes, Tolstoy. Karen says Tolstoy. Who's the other one you were thinking Chekhov. of? Chekhov. The answer is check off. Well, you know I've you're going to lose a life. A life. Yes. And you know that, don't you? I do, yes. Okay. Is the answer Tolstoy? <sighs> oh! Well done, well done, well done. Uh. Another £400. £4,300. One, two, three questions mm -hmm. to go. Yes. One, two, three lives. Right. All right? Yes. Believe. <laughs> Question 23. Birthplace of the Sumerian epic hero Gilgamesh, the ancient Mesopotamian city of Uruk is located in which modern-day country? Oh, dear. 30 seconds. Again, it's a choice of two, isn't it? Well, it may be for you. I think oh. for them it could be a choice of about 350. Um, well, I've got seconds. to go for it. OK, Carolyn? Iraq. OK. Last oh. time you got lucky with your choice. I know, but... I... Which was your other option? Iran. Okay. Can't ride your luck all the time. No, no. Is the answer Iraq? Uh. Oh. Well done. Oh. Two questions to go. Oh. Great knowledge. Oh. Great knowledge. Good, <laughs> good, calm play. Oh. <laughs> you don't look that calm just no. now. Two more questions to go. Right. In a question's time, if you get it right, you could ask somebody to come and join right. you. Okay. You have three lives. Yes. Just remember that. Right. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, <laughs> you didn't ask. How are you lot feeling? She's doing very well. Yeah. She's, She's doing, doing very, very well. Strong, very strong. Oh, you actually look just a bit cross. <laughs> <laughs> you look like, oh, I can't believe I bothered coming. <laughs> <laughs> Like you say, Paddy, she is doing very, yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. Sue, Rachel, yeah. you've got to hold your hands up. She has two more questions to go. Maybe in a question's time, she'll come and ask one of you to join her. Maybe not. <laughs> right. Are we ready? Yes, as I'll ever be. Question 24. Oh. Who was the first woman to hold the post of US Secretary of State from 1997 until 2001? 
30 seconds. I think I know this one. Well, go for it. Um, Take your step forward when you're ready. From 1997 until 2001. Oh, 2001. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Carolyn? I, um... Madeleine Albright. Okay. Who were you thinking of? Hillary saying? Clinton. Then I realised she didn't come in till Obama, oh, did she? Well, okay, that's your time. Madeleine Albright is your answer. Is the answer Madeleine Albright? <sighs> Five thousand <laughs> one hundred pounds. One question to go. Right. Three lives. It's almost <laughs> worth deliberately answering wrong. <laughs> no. But don't do it. No. Don't tempt no, fate. No, now, no. Carolyn? Yes. We are at a break point. Yes. You have the chance to bring somebody over with you. Yes. What do you think you would like to do? Well. No, I'll, I'll, oh. I'm going to risk it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Rachel. I really am. Oh, to be fair, to That's be nice. fair. Come on, she's done wonderfully well. Yeah, she she deserves a chance. She deserves yeah. a chance to go for it on her own. She's dominated <sighs> the game from start to finish. She's got all the lives. She's got so many questions. She's done really, really well. £5,100 is up oh. there. If anybody deserves £5,500, <sighs> it's you. But you still need to answer so the question, question right. right. I've yes. got lives. Yes. It'd be nice to do it with all those lit up, wouldn't it? I'd like to do it anyway. Sure, anyway. I know. I know. <laughs> We'd all like you to do yes. it. Maybe there's only four people in the world, world who, who don't want you to <laughs> no. do it. No. Okay, Carolyn, let's do this thing. Oh. Right. Question. Yes. Twenty-five. Which English king? History's your subject, of yes. course. Which English king, born at Bolingbroke, was the son of John of Gaunt and cousin of Richard II? You've got 30 seconds. Well, I've got three lives, so I'll go for it. OK, Carolyn. Henry IV. Carolyn says Henry IV. If the answer is Henry IV, Carolyn can step through that line. She will have won 5,000... Five hundred pounds. Um, if it is not, you need to step back, back and yes. you will lose a life. I understand. Is the answer Henry the Fourth? Well oh. done, through you go. Fantastic. Oh, Let's you. come back and see the others. Come forward oh. a little bit for me, just to hear. Oh, Carolyn, no. turn round. Let's Thank you. look at the amount. Oh, well done, yeah. everybody. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Rachel. Carolyn, come and face this way. You've done wonderfully Thank well. You. Honestly, you've been one of the strongest players we've ever had. You absolutely deserve your £5,500. You still had three lives. It was a peerless performance. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Now, £5,500, what are you going to be able to spend that on, do you think? Well, I don't know. We've, we've got a house in France. I'd like to spend a bit on that because it does need doing up a bit. Oh, absolutely. But, well, she did we're wonderfully in well. Yeah. We're in Burgundy, so I might bring back lots of wine. Yeah, well, uh, listen, I'll <laughs> drop you my card. <laughs> OK. <then. All> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she did wonderfully well, didn't she? She's yeah. a very, very, very worthy winner, yeah. is she? Yeah. Right. Anybody could begrudge yeah. you that. £5,500, that's almost certainly going to be one of the top scores. We'll probably see you back in the final game of the series. OK, maybe you can earn some more money and buy some white wine as Oh, well. yes. OK, some white yes, burgundy. Yes, That'd we're quite lovely. near Chablis. Oh, perfect. 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 <laughs> Join us next time when six more players face that tantalising dilemma, play it safe and share the money or risk everything with a breakaway. Goodbye. <laughs> or I could go to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs>
First on BBC Two and the BBC HD channel, there's a storm brewing.